Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, in today's video, we are going to be covering one of my favorite topics. Another top question I get, what is the difference between Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC uh, and Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC? Now, for those that don't know, LTSC is the long-term service channel. It typically means a long support cycle. Um, and there is only two ways to get your hands on a long-term service channel product of Windows 10 Enterprise. And that is something we're going to cover today. The both options, we're going to compare them side by side and uh, see what the difference is. So if we start in the upper left, um, you, you'll see that it's, it's, it's talking about general purpose computers. And, um, and then on the right, you have dedicated appliances. That's where we start. That, you, depending on how you're going to be using the product, that is the question. Is it going to be a general use computer or is it going to be a dedicated appliance? Now, what I run into is OEMs who are building an appliance of some kind and they're not aware of the IoT version. So they end up using the open volume version. Um, and we want to make sure you don't do that. So LTSC, the Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC on the left is for general purpose and Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC is for IoT appliances, dedicated appliances on the right. Now, let's go down the chart here, compare them side by side. Um, the only way to get the LTSC version um, other than the IoT version, it, the non-IoT version on the left is through the open volume channel. So that uh, comes with a lot of other hurdles that we'll cover here. So in the open volume, open business, open value, select enterprise agreements, the product um, is tied to the end user. So when you're placing the order for the product, you have to license it against the end user. You have to provide the end user's company information and an email address and the, the product is licensed against the end user's company. That's terrible for an OEM who's building appliances. Um, they're typically building them and wanting to sell them and they don't need to know, you know who they're selling it to or who they're, who they're building it for. Um, no end user information required. So uh, OEM IoT on the right, the license is tied against the hardware. It's an actual sticker, COA sticker license that you're buying and it gets applied to the hardware. Um, Let's go back down to license by. So both of them are licensed against the physical computer. It's just the OEM IoT version has a physical sticker that gets applied to the, the computer computing device. And then the open volume has no stickers. It's actual volume agreement. And the agreement is tied to the company that you're purchasing the licenses for. So again, we covered this already intended use general purpose. IoT version is for dedicated appliance. The biggest thing that catches people is the fact that in the open volume channel windows enterprise is a upgrade only so it still requires an oem base license so your computing device has to have an oem windows 10 pro license um, and then you're buying an upgrade and a very expensive one so you can see the pricing is 295 dollars depending on the end user in the open volume channel you have things like uh, academic for schools government for federal government agencies. Uh, you also have charity. So you have some various options over there that affect that pricing, but it's still no matter which one you choose, or even if you have a very large enterprise agreement, it's still a very expensive upgrade. Compared to the right, um, the, the license is based on the processor of your device with three price points. And the highest one is still under $145. If you want to know your exact pricing, get with us here at arrow i'll have the email address in the link below as well as at the end of the video reach out to us we'll get you the exact price so you can see how much money you can save when you're building appliances and then we've got the life cycle and support cycle um, and this is the support cycle one is a very important item here um, because they used to both be 10 years but just recently microsoft changed the non-iot version to five years and that actually confused people because they thought it was when they see LTSC, they automatically think IoT. Um, and that's just, that's not the case. The IoT version still has 10 years, non IoT five years. They both get quality updates, which is your security patches, hot fixes. They don't get any new feature updates. Um, global shipments, extremely limited for open volume because you have to buy the licenses in the name of the end user. Um, and you also have to procure from an authorized open volume distributor within region of the end user and buying those licenses in the end user's name. So globally, that becomes a nightmare. In comparison, the IoT OEM version 
for global shipments is unlimited because you're going to buy the products from Arrow within the um, you know region that you're in for America or Europe. And then you build your appliance, you sell and ship it globally, no restrictions um, to worry about there. Then we've got media and key. The open volume uh, media and key are within the volume licensing service center. The OEM IoT is in the device partner center, or when it comes to the key, it's on the COA sticker, or you request it separately. I have other videos that'll cover media and keys. Um, the main point to know here is if you're building an appliance, make sure you're using the IoT version. Um, and if you're building a general purpose box, you would then use the non IoT version. So always look for that name. One other last thing to point out too, is that um, when you install these products, you won't see the word IoT in there. So that confuses people. They install it and even the IoT version, you install it and it doesn't say IoT. And that's because currently that's the name of the channel of the product, not, and is not in the name. This next release that comes out in 2021, Microsoft is hinting that they may add the word IoT into that installation. So that'll fix that uh, confusion point. So with that, I wanna thank you guys. Make sure that you come and subscribe to the channel. I'm actually slowly growing the subscribers. That's really helpful for me. Um, please hit the subscribe button. And with that, thank you guys for watching.